Hey guys, it's Scarlett at Build Across, and today I'm going to show you how I paint this butterfly cutout. First, I've gone in with some hot pink paint and some light pink paint and just given this butterfly a base coat. Next, I'm going to go back in with the light pink paint in a small detailed brush and start adding some swirls. And my advice for the swirls is always to start from the outside and work your way in and to never go over one to two loops because it just kind of starts to look busy. So I'm just finishing the swirls and after this step I'm going to go in with a small detailed brush. Um, I like to use a double zero but a zero also works really well and um, if you're not excellent at holding your paintbrush and uh, you're not really comfortable with these details I would advise you to use a zero because you have more control over it because it's a little bit shorter than a double zero and um, I just like the double zero because I have to use less paint because the brush holds more paint so I'm just going back over and accenting the swirls that I already have I'm also gonna go in and kind of outline this little um, his body part just kind of doing a little outline and then I'm just gonna go around um, and accent the outer um, his like wing part I'm just gonna accent those and that's all for this tutorial you guys um, I wanted to keep it simple and I still think it's super cute for springtime and summertime and after you've let this dry I would recommend to use a clear coat you can use the Dixie Belle satin clear if you want to paint it on or if you'd prefer you can use a spray uh, we like the rust-oleum semi gloss and then after that you give it 24 hours to dry and you can either just go ahead and hang it on your door like that or you can um, add some vinyl if you'd like uh, just make sure the product has had plenty of time to dry and that's it you guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a great day